Hello, welcome to my channel. This channel is dedicated to teaching beginners how to program, how to code, and teaching other IT related stuff on this channel. This lesson is dedicated to teaching young beginners how to create a simple database using MySQL Workbench. So, I'm going to create a database using MySQL Workbench using a SQL statement. But before I do that, I'm going to show the databases I have within my system. I'm going to use the keyword show data. And this is plural, so it's going to be show the databases. I'm going to run this query. When I run this query, this is going to display and it show me the database I have within my system. Okay, that's exactly what I want to do. I'm going to go ahead to start creating my database. So I can just, I can delete this query and go ahead to create my new query by creating a database. So I'm going to use the create statement, to create database. And I'm going to give a name to that database. I'm going to call it try because I'm trying to test the system. So I'm going to use a try statement and then let me run this query and see what is going to happen. Okay, this query has been executed successfully, which is exactly what I have. To do that, to find out whether this database has been created successfully, let's go ahead to check from our system by using the keyword show databases. Let's see if this indeed has been created. So I'm just going ahead to run this query. Let's see if it's going to be part of the list of the database. Exactly, we have that. But I want us to go ahead to create just one simple table within our database. So before I do that, I have several databases over here. So I have to inform SQL that on my SQL management system that I'm going to use this try database. So I'm going to use the keyword use and I'll call the name of the database, which is try. So I'm just going to run this query now i know i'm using this database so i can go ahead to create my first table so i'm going to say create create table and then i'm going to give the name of my table let's say let me call it users and then within this users table i want to have what you call the user id so i'll call it user underscore id sorry let me bring this in on the same line there's nothing wrong if you decide to break everything to a different line. There's nothing wrong with that. So underscore ID. And then this is going to be an integer. And then I'm going to make it primary key. Primary key. So this is primary key. And I'm also going to make it auto increment anytime we insert a new user. It's going to be auto increment. I'm going to bring a comma to separate it. And then I also want to get the user name so i'll just call this user name and this should be voucher this should be voucher and then it's going to hold a value of let me give it 30 30 okay then i'll go ahead and let's say we also want email of the user so let's also give email a voucher of Let's give it a voucher of 50. But I don't expect any email to be so long. Okay, so I'm done with this and I'm going to run this query. I believe everything is okay now. Let me go ahead and run this query. So, run this query, it has been executed successfully. How do we know that this has been executed? Let's go ahead and then. Before that, let me cut this query and then let me just go ahead and say show tables and see if this database this table has indeed been created so i'll go ahead and run this query so you can see that this users table has been created how do we know that we have columns within this particular table we can go ahead and say describe this key statement and then what are we describing we are describing our table we are describing our table which is what users so let me run this query and see what we've done so far so we are going to go ahead and display every column we have within this particular table. We are going to have so many series of lessons over here to teach young beginners how to what program. So you need to subscribe to this channel in order to get details and grab the concepts of our IT and then in it related to programming and then building awesome web application thank you so much remember to subscribe and hit on the notification button to get alerts anytime we upload a new video